And now it's time for the Under Armour Performance Series. Under Armour is more than an apparel or shoe company. They're a human performance company trying to not only make their athletes better, but everyone a better runner in this series. We're going to talk to several athletes, coaches, and trainers on a variety of topics to help improve you as a runner from preparation, nutrition, and training to competing and recovery. Today's guests are Olympic champion Natasha Hastings and Michael Watts, the director of global athlete performance at Under Armour. Start first with you, Michael. We've heard a lot about this human performance center that Under Armour has in Portland. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, hi, good morning. Um, yeah, so um, Under Armour um, are pretty unique in the fact that we have this performance center that's based out in Portland, Oregon. And really what the, the brief was, was to build a world-class center that could help train, recover, assess athletes, either on a, an hour's basis or we've had athletes that have come and stay with us for up to two weeks. And when, when the vision was painted out by the, the vice president of, of um, human performance, uh, Paul Winspa, who, who, who really had this huge vision to build this, this center, that was the brief put in place. And then it was really between Paul and I to go and have a, a ton of fun to build this thing that was probably unconventional in terms of we were trying to break the mold and we were trying to do something different in the space and, and not just follow the the norm so to speak so through through our research and through our education and through our contacts and through this really pursuit of of performance and, and human performance as a holistic measure we we feel that we've created something that we're really proud of as a brand um love to host athletes and coaches and teams and and it, it and it just sort of grows and builds and we get the opportunity to have a, a lot of fun in that space that's for sure what is your approach to optimizing human performance um i think where we come at it slightly differently is that if, if you take performance as a as a segment of, of of being an athlete it's usually not that healthy for the for the individual and it's always performance at a cost and I think what we believe and what Paul and I wanted to build was how could we promote performance at the highest, highest level, but without the cost? And how could we start to look at the bigger picture? How could we look at the mind and how could we look at the body and how could we look at how that presents itself and, and, and really helps the athlete perform the best at their craft? But start looking at things like sleep or light or circadian rhythms or breath work or nutrition in a different way and not be so concerned with how high or how fast somebody can run in a test but be interested in how do they move like how do they think what do they eat like how their brain works um how they periodize their training do they take time for recovery what recovery modalities do they use so really try to look at it differently and, and really bring this evidence-based approach to our to our athletes and say hey like if if you feel we can help you and you feel that there's an area that you're interested in then we'll we'll be there to support you and be an extension of your team is there anything uh like a specific example of how an athlete in this program uh changes their competition or makes a change to the way they recover or change the way they do their workouts like What's like the difference between with this and without it? Yeah, we, th there's been numerous examples. Obviously, we, we've, we're lucky that we've got Natasha here with us. And we, we've had Natasha a couple of times, I think, in Portland. And I've been down to Austin as well. And we've looked at movement efficiency with Natasha. And we're talking about the minutiae of something going on in Natasha's kinetic chain where she can see, okay, if I can align that and become more efficient in my movement that's going to help me when i come out of the blocks and in, in my start or it might be down to a really individual project and, and maybe we'll go into more detail on this one where we might be researching something where there's not a lot of evidence that exists so with natasha and through her pregnancy we really wanted to understand the female athlete and we wanted to just inform Natasha to say, hey, this is maybe what you can expect. This is what the research says. 
This is things that you can do to help mitigate or, or accelerate your recovery and really be this applied um, thought leader for our athletes to say, we're going to look at the research, we're going to apply it in a manner that works for you and we'll do everything we can to, to, to make sure that it fits within your journey. Natasha, can you, can you speak to that a little bit more? What's been your experience working with the human performance team throughout uh, your time there? Yeah, I was going to say it's more of an addition to and collaboration than making changes. I think the approach kind of feels like your coaches know what they're doing. We're not here to change what they're doing. We're here to assist what they're doing. So everything from like how you're sleeping, your nutrition, how can you be more efficient in your exercises? What are some exercises that you could be doing to train those smaller muscles? Um, it's really been more of that approach that I think has been beneficial and really, um, I think working from what I feel like is a model of like, if the athletes are better then the brands better and vice versa, um, you know, going out there, I think I've been out to Portland maybe three or four times. And as Mikey said, he came out to Austin once, um, just even the energy of being there where it's like, everyone's eager to learn, eager to find out what it is that we can do to make, you know, the athlete better. And I mean, we all know at this level, it's like this little, <laughs> one small thing that makes this huge difference. So that attention to detail and really, you know, paying attention to what the minor changes are that make that much of a difference. You've had a very long and very successful career. How important is it for you to feel like you have a brand that's committed to making you better with this level of detail? Yeah, coach and I actually had a brief conversation about how long my career has been <laughs> this morning. <laughs> um, and I do think there, there's a, a few things that I credit to having such a long career is um, understanding the importance of training just right. And I think, again, um, you know, Paul and Mike coming from the perspective of rest and recovery rather than more work and uh, working more efficiently as opposed to doing more i.e. overtraining, um, that to me has honestly been um, the key ingredient to preserving my career and being in the game for so long. Um, being able to say, hey, I need rest or hey, I have to listen to my body here. Something's not right. How do we take a step back and fix this? and not be so um, so far in the, the hole, if you will. And then the other thing, I know I'm speaking to <laughs> men here, but um, my experience at Under Armour has been one where um, I guess the women are the gatekeepers. And one of the things I'd like to speak to was when I made the phone call that, hey, I'm pregnant, I'm still going forward with things, but obviously this puts things on hold, you know, making the call to a female and someone that on the other side of the line understood um, what it was that I was going through. But then also having the same passion from Paul and Mike, where it's like, we not only want to understand the athlete, but we want to understand the female athlete and what it takes to be elite as a woman. Um, so again, that attention to detail and that attention to the little but big things that make the big difference. Um, I think all of those things added, compounded, have contributed to my longevity in the sport. Michael mentioned, uh, you know, looking at all the details of rest, uh, the, the light in your room, and mentioned how you kind of will approach uh, a pregnancy and how to train post-pregnancy. Post have you noticed anything different about going through this process with this performance center like kind of helping you as opposed to just being they're not just a logo on your shoe or a logo on your kit they're like trying to find that like you said that minute detail um and when something with a like pregnancy well, that's a huge detail to be able to get through that and be able to come out even better than you were before or at the same level and like you haven't lost a beat um yes and largely from the mental aspect of it, because being a professional athlete in itself 
is a tremendously um, tough <laughs> situation to be in when you know you're expected to perform. Um, and I've been in situations where you know you're expected to perform, go do your job, and that's just that. Um, having a brand that makes the investment that not only are we going, you know, support you in representing our brand, but whatever we can do to help you to be the best athlete that you can be, we're also going to make that investment as well. Um, and it does something mentally to know that, you know, you have, you can trust your brand to help you. And, and I know that when I make the phone call, the worst that they could say is no, but 95% of the time they're going to figure out a way to try to help me out and figure out like, okay, well, we can get some time out in Portland. I can get you on the phone with Paul or Mike. We can figure this out. Um, I think it definitely, if you can be in a good mental state, then obviously you can go out and train more efficiently. And then of course, go out and perform um, at a higher level. So it's, it may be some of the things that as much as it helps physically, knowing that you have this backing and this support makes the difference in your output. Olympic champion Natasha Hastings and Michael Watts, the director of global athlete performance at Under Armour. Thank you so much for joining us on this edition of the Under Armour Performance Series. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.